Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be testing out Magnetic Eyelashes. I have all these pairs here, I have about 40 pairs. So we're going to test a quite a few out, I'll show how to put them on. I have like these special glues here, they're like eyeliner to be fair, to put them on with. These are from GXO Beauty so I'll link the socials and the products in the description of this video if you want to go check them out if you like them. So yeah, I thought I'd do another testing video because I feel like a lot of people like them. And my She Glam one's like the highest viewed one so far. Yeah, so if you want me to do some more of these, just drop like something in the comments i don't know what but, but yeah if you want to see how these work and how to apply them then just keep on watching so first what i'm going to do is show you the lashes that i have two of them actually i haven't even opened out the seal yet so that's going to be a nightmare to try and get off here is magnetic eyeliner and lashes i don't think these have like a specific style but they have like 10 pairs in and two lots of glue and a tweezer I personally like can't use these, they're such a nightmare to use, but we're gonna try anyway, just for the sake of the video really. They have more natural ones at the top and then they tend to get like thicker down here. I don't really have a personal preference. I like dramatic sometimes, I like natural sometimes. It's just whatever I feel like really, I don't really have a preference. So we're gonna try a few to match this look today, but there's them ones. Then next we have another big barred one, like the last one. And this has also got like 10 pairs in and kind of the same layout except all these are more natural so if you prefer like a more natural lash i know my mom was like oh my god can i pinch these and like oh yeah the natural ones on the bottom then the wrapper is on these but hopefully you, you can see through i'm going to take them off soon anyway just not on camera because it's a bit of a mess about so these are all just the one style so this will be perfect if you love like a specific lash but you always like run out of it or lose them and stuff like that so these are m71b these are like really thick so they're thick on the outside and thick on the inside and then these ones these ones are m72a I feel like these would be mint for creative looks, like really good for creative looks. They're really long and dramatic as well as fluffy, so you'll see me using these in my creative looks a lot. If you do creative makeup like me, or even if you just love a dramatic lash on a day-to-day -day basis, then these ones are great for that. Also, them two ones I last showed you don't include glue, but these have two lots of glue in each. I'll show you what they look like. These are like gorgeous, by the way. I had a little sneak peek when they came through the dark, so I wasn't sure what it was. But they're like coated in little jewels and then you pull this off and it's like an eyeliner pencil. It looks like that. You get two in each packet. So I have four right here plus the ones in there. So yeah, I do have um, quite a lot of them. So first off, I'm going to try these lashes. These are the M71B ones. The one where I said they're like the thicker here and there. So I'm just taking the middle pair out and I'm going to trim it down to where my eye is. Make sure you've got a pair of scissors on standby just to obviously trim them because not every single lash is going to fit your eye you just want to pop it on oh my, God, my hat's getting in the way then you can tell if it fits properly you don't want it too long or too short because if it's too long it'll poke you in the eye and it'll be a nightmare if it's too short it'll just look weird the so next i'm just going to take the glue pen and i'm just going to create a small line of eyeliner you don't want it too thick especially if you're just wearing like a little subtle eyeshadow And the line is just gonna look like that. And I'm just gonna wait for that to get tacky, just like a quick second, cause you don't wanna apply it on straight away cause it won't really stick on. And I'm just gonna pop that straight on my eye. I am using my fingers cause honestly using your fingers is so much easier. And it should just pop straight on because of the glue you've used. So there's that lash done and it literally popped on so easy. You're seeing how quickly it popped on. I'm going to do this eye and then we're going to take another different lash. I'm going to do one from each packet. And quickly, just a disclaimer, yes, I have mascara on already. Make sure you always do that before you put lashes on. You can also do a coat of mascara after, but it does ruin your false eyelashes and you don't get many wears out of them after it. So yeah, it's completely up to you. there's both lashes on and once again these are the m71b lashes and they come in the big pack like this so there is quite a few of them and i love these lashes because i feel like these are the ones i'd wear when i go to like parties or i go to a meal or something obviously i haven't been able to go on one for a while but these are the type of stuff that i would wear to them anyway i feel like these will be my favorite lashes because they're so me they are a bit thick and they might not be for you but obviously they do really stand out and you could use these when doing glam looks. They go really great with just like an everyday look like this, as you can tell. It just depends whatever plush boat, really. 
the scar might just be for you the longer ones might be for you which i'm going to try the longer ones out now to see if you'd like them that little ring light there just totally wasn't doing it for me and the setting so i've got my old ring light out well not my old one the one i use for makeup i wanted to use that one for youtube but it's not working so next i'm trying out the bigger lashes which i said were absolutely perfect for creative looks so these are the m72a lashes and they all come in the packet quite similar to the last one they're all the same really and what i love that's happened as well which is so much easier for me is when i've took the other lashes on the glue stayed pretty much on there so i probably won't have to reapply it if they should go straight on because they're magnetic depending on your eye shape there might not even be much i need to cut off there was a lot on the last one but this one i feel like i've only needed to cut a little bit i need to lift my hat for it to get it on so i'm just gonna pop that on straight away the glue's still there i don't think i'll need to do an extra layer I'm just gonna do the side and then I'm gonna like talk about these lashes. So there's them lashes on. It was pretty quick to be fair. These aren't as long as I thought they'd be. Obviously, it depends on your personal preference because, like, if it went out my mom, she'd go, Oh my god, they're so long. But for me, because I wear lashes a lot because of my makeup, I don't think these are that long to be fair. One thing I like about these is how feathered they are. So there's like a chunky bit here then it misses the gap then it's chunky again these would look great with a glam look or even just a look like this even with creative looks i feel like you could stack lashes up too and these would be a perfect base to stack lashes with so next i'm going to take the pink packet one and this has like 10 lashes in that is a lot of lashes i'm thinking like this middle pair here where they're dead fluffy and thick just picked it out of like the tray and these ones actually have little magnetic connects on them the other ones didn't these are going to be harder to cut and trim down sometimes you have to go through the magnets to be able to trim it down properly and by the way if you're wondering i've had to pull my top up here because i did have like a off the shoulder top on don't want people thinking i'm like just sat here not with one on this is actually as you can tell quite a small lash on thinking it might just fit straight onto my eye without me needing to trim it and it actually has <laughs> so i'm just gonna bring it over quite a bit because it's sagging on the outside and it should end up looking like that that was so easy to do when you've seen how quick i actually put that on like this isn't an exaggeration <laughs> it's crazy how well they just go on like you've just seen that so as you can tell these lashes are actually smaller than the other two i've just used these are like more dense and smaller though so i wouldn't say they're natural but i wouldn't say they're full on glam i'd say like they're in between like, also the lashes are really fluffy as you can tell so like. these are actually the last pair that i'm gonna put on it needs to be quite sad but obviously i can't put all 40 pairs on anyway so i've done one from each packet to showcase them really so here's this pack of lashes these also have 10 in i feel like these are more on the natural side than they are like on the full glam side as you can see down here you have really like baby lashes and then they work the way up so do you know what i'm actually going to try applying them with one of the tweezers just because i haven't done it yet so i'm going to take second from bottom the really natural lashes they're not the baby baby lashes but yeah we'll see how these do i'm going to take the lash and just put it in between the tweezer and just try putting it on my hat is getting in the way so much so i've just popped it on and that was actually a lot easier i didn't have a finger like in my face and then just push them down onto the glue i haven't even needed to trim these ones either as you've just seen like that just went straight on so there's them lashes i feel like these are very very natural for me but if you're like a sort of person that doesn't really like to wear lashes just like a bit of mascara these are like perfect for you they're a great everyday lash depending on what type of person you are like i know my mom would love to use these because she's a very natural person like that do you know what i found these so much easier i've just got to find the thing to put it back together now because it's like that these actually came with the lashes so you also get 10 pairs of lashes two lots of glue and these i'll link everything down in the description as i said so i've just left them lashes on that i just died on for like the natural ones this is the end of the video i hope you've enjoyed it me testing some out i'll do a review of them right now i think they're much 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 easier to use than ones that you use glue for and like obviously your standard lashes because you are seeing how easy they're just popped on there yeah it's crazy to think that you can get like magnetic lashes some pros are they're easy to apply the glue you've seen how long that glue lasted and with me ripping lashes off and then applying them so obviously the glue is going to last all day you get 10 lashes per pack so that is a lot of lashes to get plus two lots of glue and an applicator so there's a lot of pros for that and also the reason you take off when you take other lashes off i feel like they really rip at your eye these are like easy to take off as well they are absolutely approved i really like them we need to come up with a little name do you know, like jeffree star approved we need to come up with like a, a name for me 
Yeah, I'm just joking. Yeah, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for all watching. If you've enjoyed this video or want me to do like more try-ons, more hauls, whatever you'd like to see, just drop it down in the comments. I'll give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, do whatever you'd like. <laughs> yeah, we're on the road to 4K, trying to post twice a week. We're going to see how this goes. Uh, Fridays and Sundays, keep an eye out. Thank you all for watching and bye.